Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to do a little video to show you guys how I make this amazing wash. Now this wash is great for any skin affliction, whether it's bug bites, rashes, spider bites, cuts, sores, anything along those lines, even poison ivy rash, this works really, really well. So, I'm out here in this lovely little clearing area out here in the middle of the woods, and there's a lot of really good yarrow here. Yarrow is one of the main ingredients for this wash. So let's get started. Right here in front of us, we have a very lovely yarrow specimen. I've done a few videos on this plant, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on it, but we are going to collect us some. Whenever you find one yarrow plant, it helps to look around. Because if you look around, you're probably going to be finding a lot more than what you would expect. If we look down on the ground, we can actually see these yarrow leaves, these very fine, fern-like, almost lacy-like leaves. Those are all yarrow leaves. So there is a whole lot of yarrow here. Now I'm going to be collecting some of this, and there's a few other ingredients that we need for this wash. So, let's pick some of this. To pick the yarrow, all you really need to do is just grab it and pull. You can use the entire above-ground section of this plant. So that's really nice. You can use the leaves, the stems, the flower tops, the root thing we are going to be taking off though. So again with this one, exact same method. I'm going to uh, collect myself probably one or two more because you don't need a whole lot of yarrow for this wash. Yarrow is extremely strong and we have four other plants that we need to pick as well. Okay, now we can see right here I have probably about four. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I have five yarrow plants, and this is going to be enough to make probably about a week's worth of this wash, because this stuff is extremely potent, extremely strong stuff. Now, let's go collect some of our other plants. Okay, now I'm back at home, and I'm here in my front yard, and here we can see the narrow leaf plantain. This is another one of the main ingredients for this wash. So I've got a nice little bowl here to uh, collect this stuff in. And all I'm going to do is just pick off the good leaves and I'm going to set them in this bowl. All right, now right here I've got a good bit of leaves. Now let's go collect the next plant. Right here in front of us is the leaf of a broadleaf plantain. This is going to be the third plant that we are adding to this wash. So I'm just going to pick a couple of these leaves just the same as I did with the narrow leaf plantain. Right here in this bowl I have our narrow leaf plantain and our broadleaf plantain. So now let's go pick our next plants. Okay, so I just went a little bit into the wood line on my property and right here we have jewelweed. This is another one of the main ingredients. We have one more plant after this that's going to make the ingredients for our wash. And to harvest your uh, jewel weed, all you do is just simply pull it up at the ground level. What I like to do is just grab about midway down and pull. It comes up real easy, and obviously you want to break that little bit off because you don't want to add any dirt into this mixture. So I'm just going to pick a few more of these. I probably need, I don't know, probably about five or six of these guys. So this is the last ingredient that we need for our wash, and this is known as Canadian Sanicle. This plant is really, really good to add to the wash because it helps to draw out anything that might be causing your rash. It helps to draw out oils like poison ivy oil, like urechiol, the main chemical of poison ivy that causes the rash. This plant really helps to draw that out. So I'm gonna just go to the base. Pull, kabamo kaslamo, and I'm going to add that guy to our bowl. You can see our bowl with our stuff there. I'm going to pick a few more of those. I only need probably about five of those, four or five of those as well. Okay, and then once you've got your plants, go ahead and take them inside and rinse them off. Set them in a strainer to kind of let them drain a little bit of the water off. You don't need to dry them completely all the way. And that's mainly just because it's going to be put right into some water anyways. Now right over here on the stove, I have approximately 32 ounces of water, and we want to get this right up to a boil. Okay, now that we have our water up to a boil, we need to do the next step. 
So now that our water is boiling, we're going to go back to our leaves, and we're going to start with the plantain leaves, and we're just going to macerate these guys up really good, get them nice and bruised, try to break them up a little bit if you can. You can uh, take scissors and cut these up into little pieces after you've macerated them. That'll really help to release a lot of the good chemical constituents that we are looking for. I would show that process of cutting it, but A, it's pretty simple, and I'm holding my phone in my hand in my other hand, so I don't really have the uh, availability to do that. And we just drop that right into our pan here. Hopefully I don't spill this. Hard to do looking through a viewfinder. And we want to do the exact same thing with all of these, with our jewelweed, our sanical, and our yarrow. We want to do the exact same thing, just macerate them, bruise them, cut them up, shred them as much as you can really. Um, you can leave plant materials in the wash so it's not too big of a deal. But I'm going to macerate these guys up and get them in there as quick as possible. And here we can see all of this macerated cut up mixture that we have of all of those. We're gonna do the same thing, just drop these bad mamma jammas in here. And hopefully I don't spill any. And now at this point we just want to put all this in the water as best as possible and stir it around. And then we need to let this boil for at least 15 minutes. The longest I'd let it go is probably about 40 minutes. Um, if you do let it boil that long, keep in mind your water is going to evaporate a bit. And then now we just got to let this guy uh, sit there and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm probably going to let this one go to about 25, maybe 30. Um, but I will let you guys know when this is done and we'll get on to the next step. Okay, it's already been about 10 minutes and here we can see the color of this wash. We can see it's getting this kind of greenish brown color and this is exactly what we're looking for. So now that this is boiled and cooled, we want to make sure it's nice and cool because we're going to put this into a mason jar. I'm just going to dump this water into here. You can see this color of this wash. Get all that out. Now you can see what we have left here in our strainer. All you need to do at this point is just kind of squeeze this out really good with your hands. Make sure you have really clean hands when you do that. And that will extract a lot of the extra good medicinals. <clears throat> and here we can see our wash in this bowl. This is what we're going to be using as our wash. And this is the medicine right here. This is enough of this wash to last about a week. Give or take how bad the affliction is. If you have a whole body rash, this might only be a couple of days worth. But it's easy to make. It doesn't take long. And it doesn't take long to collect all the ingredients. So that's a nice thing. This wash will give up to 12 hours of relief. The longest I've seen the relief last for anybody has been up to 14 or 15 hours. So if you've got a rash that's, you know, keeping you awake at night, this bad mamma jamma is going to get the job done. Now once you have this bad mamma jamma done, you can just set this in your fridge and it'll last for up to three or four weeks in your fridge before it starts to go bad. That's if it goes bad. I can almost guarantee you that you're going to use it all before it does go bad. Another good thing about this wash is you can use it just to clean your face off. You can use it to kind of clean up your skin. This works really well to also help prevent acne and to help get rid of acne. So there's a lot of various uses for this wash. So that's how you guys can make this really amazing wash. Now this wash can be used, like I said earlier, for all kinds of skin afflictions from poison ivy rash to bug bites, spider bites, blisters. You can use it for even unknown rashes. For example, my mom has a rash that she's just now getting over thanks to this wash. This is the second batch that I've made of it for her. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures to sh so that way you guys can see uh, how effective this wash really is. I thank all of you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.